There is a temple of Lord Shiv in Chittur district of Andhra region. Sri Kalahastishwar temple. So the story goes that one Swayambhu Vayu Lingam manifested in the forest. And there were three great devotees in the forest of Lord Shiv. One was a spider. The other was the elephant and the third was a snake. Now the spider crawling around saw, My God, Lord Shiv has manifested out here. So the spider was thrilled. It offered its obeisance again and again to the shivling and then thought that this shivling is existing in the open. It is exposed to the dust and the rain. Let me offer my services. It built cobwebs all around to protect the shivling from the raindrops and from the wind etc and went off. But in the afternoon the elephant came. It was also delighted to find the shivling there, the Vayu Lingam and said, Wow, Lord Shiv out here, my Ishtadev. But what is this cobwebs etc covering it? So it went to the Swarnamukhi river, filled water in its trunk and came and splashed water on the shivling, knocking out all the cobwebs. Then it took a few bananas and a few flowers and offered them around Lord Shiv and the elephant went off. At night a snake came. It was also a great devotee of Lord Shiv. And the snake was also thrilled looking at that Vayu Lingam and said, Wow, I am blessed to have darshan. But what are all these rotten flowers and vegetables and fruits out here? So the snake, it threw them all away. And it had some precious stones. It came and offered those precious stones. In the morning, the spider came back to do his devotion, Om Namah Shivai. And found that there were no cobwebs. Instead, there were stones and little remnants of the vegetables. The spider struggled and struggled to pull the stones away. And became very annoyed and again made the cobwebs. The afternoon, the elephant came. Said, again the cobwebs are here. And became furious when took the water three, four times and cleaned it up fully. Now the snake again came. So this cycle went on and on and all these three devotees were so annoyed that somebody was thwarting their sevas until they decided we will look who spoils my seva. So in this morning the spider came, the elephant was waiting behind and the spider started building its web. The elephant came and squashed it to its death. And now the snake came. So the snake looked at the elephant. You? But in loving devotion, there is no fear. It went into the trunk of the elephant and started biting it. The elephant became so furious. It took its head and trunk and smashed it on the tree, killing the snake. But by then the venom had spread in the elephant. The elephant also died. All three of them died. But Lord Shiv said, Look, they are all my devotees. They meant no harm. They were all trying to serve me. And they were serving based on their own natures to the best of their abilities. From my side, I was pleased with the devotion of all three of them. And that is why I accept the devotion of all three. So Lord Shiv, 
he liberated all of them took them to kalash and he said henceforth this shivling will be called shri after the spider kal after the snake and hasti after the elephant it will be shri kal hastishwar so even in the path of devotion there are differences of opinion you may say there are differences of opinion out here in the material world one devotee says this one says this and the conflict out there happens but this conflict happens in golok also there are manini gopis and there are mugdha gopis you know the leftists and the rightists when i open my mobile it the shows up you know the leftists are doing like this it's a ad placed by the rightists what do you feel vote out here and the next day is the rightists are doing like this what do you feel vote here in golok also there are leftists and rightists see it is divine some gopis they think that shri krishna should be served like this and they firmly believe and the other gopis think this is not the way shri krishna will be happy he should be served like this now they get annoyed with each other the annoyance is not about their happiness in the material world we are annoyed for our happiness they are annoyed for the happiness of shri krishna so chandravali has her idea of how shri krishna will be happy and radha feels that is totally crazy idea and that is why she doesn't like chandravali at all so this is a divine conflict but the vedas accept the variety in the sacrifices so lord krishna says that all these kinds of sacrifices they are perfect provided the connection is there like your mobile it is useless if the connection is not there first time when i came to the us and then i went back in 2009 somebody said swami ji you should have a iphone so i said sure and i went with the iphone back to india and of course i replaced the chip but then i was traveling around to so many places and half the places it would not work and my team member had that 1000 rupee 1000 rupee means about 14 dollars so 1000 rupee mo- indian made mobile of micromax corporation and he would merrily you know engage in his phone calls all over the place what is the use of this iphone 5 and this micro max that 1000 rupee phone is working everywhere because the maker of the phone had the brains to put a strong receptor so that the cellular network could be caught everywhere and the iphone was falling so you may have all the best apps of the world in your iphone or samsung but if there is no connection they are all useless likewise all these austerities the one in front of all the zeros is the yog so yog is the union your connection with god through loving devotion when you offer it in love to god it becomes perfect your intelligence for your status god doesn't care for your education for your austerity for your mantras god doesn't care for your success for your physical strength for your rituals for your ability god is hungry god is hungry for love for love jai radhe krishna radhe jai radhe krishna radhe 
get closer to God. Get closer to God. Krishna ki Krishna na jaye, gure jaye ra.